MGTOW Millionaire Lesson 3, Intro to Easy Money Part 2. Welcome back thanks for dropping by, today we will unpack the crackhead method by continuing where we left off in the last video. My boss poured a glass of whiskey for me as he looked at my disbelieving face. Relax kid, he said, let me tell you how things went down with my crazy brother. In order to create his network of people, the one he would later benefit from, he used me, more specifically he used my name. That is, people got near him to get close to me. As the saying goes, it is not only what you know but who you know. If you want to replicate this, you either use the internet or jump on someone else's back. Use every shortcut you can find. You understand what I am saying to you kiddo. My boss asked while sipping a drink. My brother used social media to expand his social circle through the web. Of course, back in those days when internet wasn't part of the mainstream. It was the beginning of Facebook. Nevertheless, he was able to use his contacts and my name to establish a reputation as the go-to guy for wild parties and other assortments. After sipping the last of my whiskey glass, I asked my boss, becoming a facilitator of other people's needs and wants in his area of expertise wasn't something that just happened or coincidence, if that were the case everybody would do it. What is the key? What is the secret? My boss smiled as approving my question. At least, I like to think that way. Anyhow, he said, he loved what he did, but let me put it in perspective for you. He knew everything there was to know about his vices and social gatherings. If he talked about or did anything other than the things he loved. He became grumpy, agitated and restless. His energy and drive was infectious, he affected others. He felt so good doing what he loved, he made others feel good too. Bottom line, you really got to love what you do, half-assing it will not cut it. Then again, anybody can tell you this, but is important to be reminded of self-evident truths. This is not all, that is just the beginning. You see people gravitate towards many things like money, power, beauty, etc. Why is it that a beautiful woman has it easier than others in society assuming all other things remain equal? Simple answer, she has something others like. My brother had a natural sophistication about him. You know there is a very old Latino proverb, a monkey dressed in diamonds and pearls is still a monkey. No matter how much you want to make something or teach something, some people cannot do it nor learn it. Same here, due to his upbringing or his IQ or his love for cinema he acquired a way of behaving differently from others. You could throw him in the middle of a ball and he would fit, albeit his dress code will be lacking quite a bit. You could also place him next to Latin gang leaders with guns and he would look like one more of the gang. This was his true innate or acquired talent, it matters not, what matters is that he used to get along with all sorts of people. My name was the foot in the door, his knowledge was his selling product and his charisma what closed the deals for him. He was a great salesman, even thought he didn't know about it himself. Everything in life is a sales pitch. Everything. We are all salesmen here. The only question is, what do you got that I like? My boss stood up poured another round of drinks and said think hard, real hard of the things you truly love, the things you are truly good at. We will pick up this conversation tomorrow he said as he turned up the volume on his deluxe vinyl turntable as cashmere resounded all over the place. As always, all advice is for entertainment purposes only, no liability is applicable. Thanks for listening and, until next time, a big F to those that will put you down, Truman signing off.